and this is episode three in our series, how to find the hidden money in your business. Yes, there are invisible piles of cash all around you in the form of untapped opportunities and possibilities. And part of the problem is that you haven't trained yourself to see them yet, which is what this series is all about. So uh, episode one, was very much about really getting the mindset and starting to open up your mind and you know recognize that the path to where you want to go starts from where you are. Um, episode two, we talked about focusing on the area where money is changing hands already. So looking at existing transactions in your business. And today we're going to talk about another area to look um, for hidden money and that's in relationships. You see, um, you have a lot of relationships through your business. Because you might think, okay, well, my number one relationship is with my customers or clients. And yes, absolutely. But you also have past customers and clients. You also have past prospects, past or current prospects, people that you've engaged with but haven't actually become paying clients or customers yet. You might have joint venture partners, um, that either people that you have promoted or that could be willing to promote you. And uh, finally, you have suppliers. Like you might not have thought of the value of uh, a business or relationship that you buy from on a regular basis, but if you stop to think about it, they have an interest in you succeeding. So sometimes they can re represent opportunities for your business that you might not have noticed yourself. So where, you know, if you're looking to um, increase more revenue in your business, one of the first things that I say to clients to do is to go to the people who've already bought from you. The biggest opportunities in your business exist with existing clients. So it could be as simple as going to your top, you know, 10% of clients and starting to ask them how you could be serving them bigger and better. What other needs do they have that you might be ignoring, you might be overlooking, but there are things that you could absolutely help them with. Sometimes the problem is we're so blinkered and we're focused on what, what it is that we're doing that we don't see beyond that. We don't see that other people might actually be willing to pay for other services or products that we could provide for them. It's just we haven't asked the question yet. So absolutely, the first place to go is to your, you know, your existing strongest relationships, so your best clients and customers. But there is also no harm in going back to people that maybe were past clients. You know, they bought from you previously, What's happened that shifted for them that means they're no longer a current client? Maybe they've moved on, they have a different set of needs now, but a set of needs that you could still help them with. So when it comes to relationships, the ways to start to tap into these relationships, it's not mind reading folks, it's having conversations. You're gonna to have to pick up the phone or you know, write an email, but sooner or later that leads to an in-person conversation, either face-to-face -face or over Skype or over the phone where you're asking these people you already have a relationship with. And the, the best way to move forward is to find out what is it that they need. You know, there's a saying that you can get anything in the world you want by helping enough other people to get what they want. So if you start the conversation, not looking for what you wanna get out of it, which is, you know, that they spend more with you or that they refer business or whatever, by finding out what it is that's going on for them, what they really need help with, and that may start to open up some interesting possibilities for you in terms of extra services that you could provide or extra things that you could offer that would help them get more of what they want. It's not rocket science. Next, you wanna think about joint venture partners. You know, you, if you're in a, a business where uh, people need a certain type of software, there are plenty of companies that would pay you handsomely a referral or affiliate commission for recommending that software, that could be an extra income stream for you. Now you might say, well, oh no, Bernadette, I don't wanna be doing any of that. I'd recommend the software anyway. Well, you know, shouldn't you get paid or rewarded for the fact that you're bringing potential customers to that software business? So you might wanna look at your business and look at what are the add-on services or products or things that your clients would need that you could basically connect them with and earn a commission for? Equally, there's possibility that there might be people that you're connected with, other businesses, who could be referring business to you. And so you might wanna look at, could you set up some type of referral partnerships or some type of agreement with those um, other parties? 
Finally, think about suppliers. So suppliers or vendors are people that you are paying money to. You're bringing them business. You're doing business with them week after week, month after month. And you might not have thought of them as a source of new business for you, but just because you haven't asked yet doesn't mean that you shouldn't explore the possibility. I recall a few years ago that I was running an event at a hotel and for the entire week of our event, even before our event started, they were advertising our event inside of their hotel. It was just a free service that they gave to us out of goodwill, but it was a source of potential new business for us. So you might wanna go and have conversations with your suppliers and again, be open-minded to start to explore the possibilities. Are they already doing business with other companies that could be great candidates or prospects for you? If so, you might want to start to explore how they could introduce those people over and that you know you can get a win-win out of it. So when you start to look at the area of relationships, it's um, amazing how much can be uncovered in terms of hidden money. And I really invite you to go and explore this now and start to look and take off the blinkers and look at what possibilities exist for you through the relationships in your business.